yellow. Welcome to this week's episode. Now, where are we tonight? We're here in Plymouth at the uh, marina right now. So we're going to be diving a famous wreck in the UK. It was one of the only few artificially sunk ships, which is an old Royal Navy warship, the HMS Sully, which was sunk. Do you know anything about it, actually? Nothing. Nothing. Probably like a lot of people in this video, so we're going to get a voiceover telling you about it. But it was actually artificially sunk in 2004 by the National Marine Aquarium in Plymouth. So it's meant to be really cool to explore and see, and we're going to go dive. And hopefully, we're going to have some good visibility this time. Yeah, yesterday's visibility was maybe uh, two meters maximum, but that's kind of standard anyway in the UK, isn't it? Yeah, it's like that a lot, but of course we went to explore the aquarium first, so we actually run some footage of the aquarium. Yeah. So what do you think of the aquarium? Saw a really big sand tiger shark. And also, if anybody knows, this is a question I researched, can't find any information on, do eagle rays lose their spots in aquariums? Because none of them there had spots. Or they were really, really faded, which yeah. was unusual. So if you know the answer to that, please tell me. Yeah, because we've been trying to find out and can't. But let's go mm -hmm. in and let's go jump in and dive the HMS Sully. Ready, steady, go. go. Break, break, you put your hand over it. Morning. Good morning. How are you feeling? Yeah, yeah. Fantastic. Are you both on dry suit No, we're no. we are there. We're set up. Oh, fantastic. I'm getting those arms working. <laughs> <laughs> For the second time today, we're attempting a descent down onto the wreck. Unfortunately, for the first time, the shot line missed the wreck and we went for a little drift, a nice deep dive on it, but luckily we finally made the wreck the second time. Here we are on the Scylla. Now I was really excited to dive this wreck because when it was sunk back in 2004, I had always been looking forward to finally get down here and dive it. Now in 2022, I'm finally getting to dive the wreck. Okay, fair enough. It's taken 12 years to get here, but it's going to be worth it and I cannot wait to go explore this wreck. Now as we drop down, you can see there's a lot of surge and a lot of swell in the wreck. Unfortunately, it was a bit choppy down there today, but I didn't mind, Holly didn't mind. We were just happy to make, down, to make it onto the wreck this time and start exploring it. Now as I said, the shot line missed the wreck the first time. So we did a 25 meter deep dive. Because of that, we had a short service interval to try and make a second attempt in the wreck. So as a result of that, we just stayed in the shallower parts of the wreck, really maxing out around about 16, 17 meters. But this was good enough for us because we're getting to explore a lot of this stunning wreck, one of the most popular wrecks in the UK. Now, the HMS Sully had actually served in a number of locations around the world mainly in Iceland and also through the Suez Canal but it used to be a guard ship in the West Indies so what it used to do when hurricane season was rolling in it would be here as a supply vessel so if hurricanes hit UK territories they would get there quickly to help resupply and fight humanitarian aid so in the 1980s the Scylla actually fighted to support the Cayman Brac in the Cayman Islands after a big hurricane had impacted it as we move around the wreck, you can see how stunning it is and how coralized it is. 
So the ship was, as we said, was a British warship. It was bought by the National Marine Aquarium for £200,000 and was sunk on the 27th of March 2004 off Whitsand Bay in Cornwall to form the first artificial reef in Europe. The ship was placed in a sand patch round about 24 metres deep, around about 80 feet, approximately 500 metres from the really famous Liberty ship, the James Egan Lane, which is also one of the most popular dive sites in the south of England. However, within three months, the ship became very colonised by sea anemones, mussels, scallops, and by six months, sea urchins and starfish also found their way in large numbers. Now, a recent survey in 2021 found over 250 different species have been recorded on this vessel. This is why artificial reefs can also become very popular for divers, but also for marine life as well. And if you look around the wreck as we're in the bridge, you can see how coralized it is with dead man fingers, sponges, kelp hanging off the roof just above Holly's head. It is coralized. And on this dive site, there was Ballinrass, Pollock, Cuckoo Rass. There was so much marine life on this dive. And I was just glad, even though after the little incident at the beginning where we missed the shot line, or sorry, the shot line missed the wreck, and we had a drift dive, we were able to get on this wreck. And it was awesome to finally get on it. I really hope you enjoyed coming out and exploring this wreck with us. The first artificial reef in Europe and finding a great dive in the UK. Even though the water is cold at eight degrees, we had an awesome time. But don't forget to subscribe to not miss the next video as we dive the ex US Liberty ship, the James Egan Lane next. You don't wanna miss that. As always guys, thank you so much and we'll see you next week.